a few months ago, uh, I upgraded from the iPhone 7 to the new 10s Max. Um, I absolutely love it and it's the best phone I've had since becoming a rideshare driver. But was the upgrade necessary? Um, Joe here with the Rideshare Guy and today we're going to discuss if you should upgrade your iPhone. So I personally have actually had iPhones since the original iPhone back in 2007. Um, and I've followed the pattern of upgrading every two years. So I purchased the iPhone 7 two years ago. So I was due for my two year upgrade this year. Um, but this is the first time that I've had an iPhone where I had the iPhone 7 and I really didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary to upgrade. Um, my iPhone 7 was fantastic. Um, it, the performance was great. I was still happy with the phone. The main reason I decided to upgrade to the 10s Max is the screen. Um, a little bit better battery. The battery with my iPhone 7 wasn't great, but that really didn't matter with Rideshare because I would keep my, my phone plugged in the entire time. So again, my upgrade was not necessary. Um, I probably could have hung on to my iPhone 7 for maybe a year, a couple more years, but I decided to upgrade because I'm on that two-year cycle. Uh, I also wanted to get the bigger screen size. I like the bigger screen size. You get a lot, you, you can see a, a, a bit more on the screen when using the driver app, when using navigation. Navigation especially, you see a little bit more. When I actually originally started driving rideshare, I believe I started with the iPhone 5. So that was the smaller screen. And then I upgrade, I eventually upgraded to the iPhone 6, which was the, the step up, the new, the bigger screen. And then I went iPhone 7 and now I'm at the iPhone uh, 10s Max, which is the biggest screen ever. But yeah, it's a lot easier to drive. You get a lot more information without having that tiny screen like that iPhone 5, the upgrade to the 6 and the 7 was good, and now the upgrade to the 10s Max is even better. And quickly to just compare the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 10s Max, the main differentiator is the screen size. Uh, the 10s Max has a 6.5 inch display, versus the iPhone 7 has a 4.7 inch display. The iPhone 10s Max also has Face ID, versus the iPhone 7 which still had Touch ID. I know a lot of iPhone users um, complain about Face ID. I personally have not had an issue with Face ID. I like it, it works just fine for me. Maybe it's not as quick as Touch ID, but it, just, it still works just fine. And another big differentiator is battery life, but that shouldn't be a huge deal because when you're driving rideshare, you can have your phone plugged in the entire time. Um, but the overall performance really isn't a huge difference. Just that screen size is the main upgrade for me personally with the 10s Max. So what about you? Um, should you upgrade your iPhone for rideshare driving? Uh, I think it just comes down to preference and if the cost of the new phone is worth it to you. Apple now sells three generations of the iPhone. The iPhone 7, the iPhone 8, and the iPhone 10R and 10s. Now the iPhone 7 was released back in 2016 but it's still a great phone and that's the reason why they continue to sell it. Again, I very easily could have ridden my iPhone 7 for another year or maybe even two, but I personally like to upgrade every two years and that's the reason I decided to upgrade this year. So if you have the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 8, I don't feel it's necessary to upgrade your iPhone to the, to the 10s Max or the 10R. Um, it's not a huge enough difference. Those phones are still great phones. But if you do have an older generation phone, maybe even some of you still have one of the smaller screen phones, I would absolutely recommend upgrading to the 7 or higher. Now some of those older generation iPhones are still supported by the Lyft and Uber driver apps. But as with most developers, you can probably imagine that Lyft and Uber are focusing their app on the newer generation models. So they're designing their apps, their driver apps with the newer generation models in mind. So those older generation while, while still being supported, may, you may have a degraded experience with those. So what about you? Um, if you are an iPhone user, what generation iPhone are you using? Um, have you recently upgraded or are you planning on upgrading soon? Um, are, are you like me? Where, what, how has your experience been with the different screen sizes over the years? How has that improved your rideshare experience? Um, if you haven't subscribed to the Rideshare Guy channel, please subscribe. We post new videos every single week. Thanks again for watching and drive safe.